What was that? Wow. Hi. <laughs> we are Jonty and Millie, and along with our kids, we look for the amazing wonders of our world, living in Singapore and exploring beyond. Welcome to Wonderlust. Good morning, everybody. Hi. We are getting ready to go on our Wanderlust round the island cycling route number two. We did the first one about two years ago. If you haven't had the chance to check out that video, please do. It's fantastic to see the, the whole way, and you'll see Aspen only learned to ride her bike like a week or two six beforehand. Weeks before. Six weeks beforehand, which was just amazing. So we're really excited to be doing this again. Yeah, it's going to be great. Unfortunately, though, uh, we had some uh, changes to the plans just yesterday. Milo has been harboring an injury to one of the ligaments in his knees, and we went to the physio yesterday who did not give Milo the clearance. Uh, we were up really late last night trying to figure out other alternatives for how it's going to work. Um, we are not able to cycle the whole thing together. Aspen and I are going to be on our bikes the whole route round. We've got three special nights that we're going to stay in. Mm -hmm. Millie and Milo are going to meet up with us at points along the way and maybe try to take advantage of Hello Bike. Yeah, we're essentially, Milo and I are going to be backpacking around Singapore. Okay. Pretty much, because we're not going to be kind of coming home in between. We're just taking what we need. We're going to yeah use some of the Hello Bikes and um, public transport to get to the destinations. Perfect. So without much further ado, Aspen needs to get ready and then we're going to be off. We started about two, three minutes ago, uh, me and Aspen. We are on a park connector, um, a, really, a relatively new park connector in Woodley sort of area and making our way. Today <clears throat> we're going to be taking a different route to what we've done before. We're still going anti-clockwise. If you watched our last video, um, anti-clockwise around the island, we're hitting the perimeter of Singapore as much as we can, hitting coastal roads as much as we can with three really, really exciting stays that we have for you. Um, Aspen has got a new uh, road bike. It's her first roadie. Um, she uh, had her first go on it yesterday, really, actually. Um, we just realized she's been riding her little one uh, for quite some time. Actually, she rode her last one on the last Round Island uh, trip that we did. And we just begin realized a few days ago that it's just too small and that a long time in the saddle of that bike was gonna be really tricky for her. So we managed to source a second hand um, road bike, fixed it all up, make sure it's all in good condition for her and she's rocking and ready to go. Um, so we're excited for today. <laughs> nice. First stretch on your road bike, how does it feel? Good, tiring. comfy, tiring. We've gone about 10 minutes. We've got another five hours to go. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> First water break. Ready? Yay. Let's go. Top up our waters. What was that? Um, my wheel just exploded. As you can see, there's a complete split in the tyre here, um, which isn't very, very good. And um, I called our friend Ewan, who is a very good cyclist and a, and a, and a dedicated one, um, just to find out what the options were. He just said that um, the tyre's getting old. So Aspen and I are going to be heading off to um, Decathlon, which isn't very far from here. Millie and Milo are going to meet us there. She's going to try and get there before us and just prep them with what we need to have done. And then hopefully we are um, going to be able to get it fixed and then we'll be on our way. So a bit of a delay, but we'll keep going. to leave and make our way to meet John T along East Coast Park but he called me and said that his wheel has exploded so we're actually going to head to Decathlon and we're going to meet them there let's say we've got backpacks on we are backpacking around Singapore we're in Decathlon now um, amazingly they said they're going to do it in, a, in about 10 minutes so they're going to go and do that uh, while we wait. So Aspen and I are just um, grabbing some protein bars 
Um, and then Millie and Milo are going to come here as well um, as they can kind of divert a little bit on their journey um, to come and see us. And hopefully we'll be back on our way. Oh, what drama. So they're sorting out now. Should be ready in the next 10 minutes and then we'll be back on our way. How are you doing? Aspen didn't sleep too well last night, unfortunately, so I'm picking up her some of these just to give her a bit of extra energy. I've never been to the cafe when it's been so quiet. It's empty in here. We always seem to come on a Sunday and it seems to be like the place to come and hang out on a Sunday. <laughs> so it's funny seeing it so empty. All done, probably like took her 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And we need to get back on the road so we can go and meet Millie and Miley for lunch. Bye guys. Bye. We're gonna go find a bus. Which way? Yeah, the bus came as soon as we got here which is great so it means we're making really good time um, we are going to head towards east coast now and see if we can pick up one of the hello ride bikes and um, kind of fall in love after thinking they were a little bit rubbish but they're actually pretty decent so we're going to hop on one of them milo can fit in the back Ooh, bumpy bus and we're gonna head on to meet jonty and aspen at the food lagoon east coast for some lunch which is going to be good because we're hungry already and we've only been walking it is great to be back on two wheels and we're off. So um, we're going to push through uh, to East Coast Park now um, as quickly as we can. This has delayed us by about an hour, which is uh, fortunately we put in some buffer time. So hopefully we'll still get to our first night of stay in good time to be able to relax and to be able to switch off. Um, Aspen didn't sleep well last night, so we're hoping that tonight is going to be a really, really good night's sleep for her um, as we've got another big ride tomorrow. But we've got to focus on today first. We actually didn't realize this beautiful stretch of park and road was here last time we did this and we had to do some weird roundabout route through some industrial park bit which was very strange um, but it's so nice to, be able to have this and it's so clear and beautiful today no one around because it's a weekday um, and so yeah we're just really really grateful to be on this on this road and having such a great time someone had decided to drop off uh, yeah we're not too far of a walk away we just thought it'd be fun to get on one of the bikes but we know that there's loads um, outside the McDonald's at East Coast so we're gonna head that way now We've just arrived at Marine Cove where we're meeting Millie and Milo at some point soon, hopefully. I'm a bit concerned. Uh, Aspen said she's not feeling very well and she's been cycling with like minimal effort, which is not like her at all. She's cycling's a happy place. So I'm hoping it's the really bad night's sleep last night. Not that there's an illness coming on. We'll see what happens in the next little while, but we'll have a little stop here. I'll try to poke her up with some ice cream or something. And then um, we'll meet Milo and Millie here um, before we head off. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think she's very well. Uh, Her whole demeanor on the bike is not Aspen on the bike. No. She's slow, she's like getting frustrated with herself. She's not had any fries, she hasn't wanted this. She's got a Sprite meant to go and pick up. Anyway, I'll bike to her over there. Okay. And then come in. I'll scan this Oh dear. The worst case scenario, I think. Yeah, we're not really sure what to do. She hasn't been feeling well all day. I mean, she didn't feel well um, last night. She was up in the night, which isn't really like her to be up so much. She even climbed into our bed at one point. Um, this morning she seemed fine, which is why we thought it would be good just to go. And we just thought, um, a bad night's sleep will be rectified 
and with a good night's sleep later tonight but like I said on the bike she's not she's not been a usual happy self so Melissa's taken her to the washroom um, we are um, gonna see what happens next So we are going to move our bikes just somewhere a bit more visible for us. But one uh, I think we're, what we're going to plan is that Millie um, <laughs> and the kids are going to take the taxi to the next destination. I will cycle it and we will reconvene there and we hope that Aspen will feel better tomorrow ready to ride. Yep. Yeah, I think we'll just eat here and then she can sit and rest a little bit. Just, you know, one of those things you can plan all you like. But illnesses, exploding tyres, and one of those face. That was strange. Gross. <laughs> oh, I felt sorry for the lady sat next to you. Yeah. Anyway, hope you're not eating your lunch while you're watching this one. So we're gonna move the bikes, have something to eat. Um, what an eventful yeah. day. <laughs> All right, um, we'll update you in a few moments. And then it was just me. So it's been a bit of a funny one, to be honest. Um, yesterday losing Milo and Millie, today losing Aspen from the trip. So um, the first part, or the rest of this, so we've done 15, 17 kilometers today. Uh, the rest of today is gonna be uh, brought to you by yours truly. And um, Millie and the kids are gonna head on to the next location where we're gonna be spending the night tonight. Fortunately, um, what we didn't get to film and show you is that Aspen has really perked up. She's feeling really, really good actually. Um, she actually said she would love to ride. She's just feeling nervous about being sick again, even though she said she feels absolutely fine, doesn't think she will. So we've made the call that she should just go with Millie uh, and rest up at the next place there. Of course, there's beds there, so she's gonna have a chance to rest properly. Um, and uh, she's really excited about riding tomorrow. So uh, we will bring you more from the travels of the Tan family, the Wanderlust crew. And uh, so don't worry, you don't have to deal with me for the rest of the video. Um, but for now, we're gonna continue going through. This is by far my favorite stretch of uh, East Coast Park. It is beyond the picnic zone G, so it might be H, I maybe even. Um, but it's beautiful. It's like woodland, and the other side of the woods is the sea. The insects just create like this beautiful chorus in the trees. It just sounds so beautiful. Um, it's like a symphony. And just being out here on my own on the bike, uh, just taking the opportunity just to breathe it all in is doing wonders for my soul. So this is the bit that we've never actually done before. Normally we're going straight ahead down that way, which will take us towards the Jurassic Mile, it'll take us towards Changi Airport, the Jewel and so on. That's where we stayed last time. Uh, obviously we decided to go a bit further this time because the kids uh, could cope with it a little bit better despite uh, the issues that we've had with them today and, and obviously they're gonna meet us there. I'm actually gonna go down this way there's another road over there that takes us towards uh, the Changi Beach Park, which I've never been on before. Um, I've seen a lot of reviews, I've seen a lot of people say how beautiful it is, but I've never done it before, so I'm looking forward to heading down there and taking you guys with me. It seemed like a funny thing to say, but just going through that little section there could smell like damp bark. It just smelled amazing. It smelled like we we're in the woods. Oh, now I can smell the sea. It's just got this like, oh, it smells great around here. Different, it's not what we're used to, but it's just a feast for the senses. I've been on this long straight road for probably about two and a half kilometers, maybe three kilometers by now. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that it is the, you know, on the east of Singapore, there's that square, uh, basically, that's juts out of the east of Singapore. I'm pretty sure we're on there, heading up around the outside of that. The sea is just to my right, and the airport is to my left. And that's about it. And it is probably the long, the longest, straightest park connector pathway that I've ever been on. Um, I literally haven't had to change direction for ages. Look at this, didn't even know the Singapore Navy Museum existed. Uh, yet it is all the way out here, probably the furthest point east as you could get. So we're gonna have to come and check it out at some point and find out a bit more about the Singapore Navy. But for the time being, I'm gonna continue up the Tanamara Coastal Road. I've got about a litre of water left. Um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to find something to fill up before long, but uh, feeling pretty good on this absolutely gorgeous uh, morning, afternoon now. Just dead straight. I don't know for how long. If you're planning on learning how to ride a bike and you're able to get yourself in a bicycle out here, great place. Don't even need to change direction, just focus on moving forwards first of all. Love it. I uh, just stopped, at, there's a little toilet block along here, which I thought was really impressive. I thought I'd top up my water, but it turns out it is not drinkable, which is a shame. Um, honestly, I think Singapore's got one of the best uh, water infrastructures in the whole world, which means pretty much any tap you can drink out of. So here, they must be getting the water from, I don't know, somewhere on the ground nearby. They haven't been able to sort it all out yet, but that's okay. I've still got a bit more. What a road. This is one of the ones I was expecting and hoping to be able to show you guys. This is the Changi, I don't know what it's called. Changi Beach Pathway. I don't know, but this is beautiful. And um, we're right next to the sea, which is great. There's a breeze in my face, which is beautiful. And it's just a gorgeous view over the blue waters over there. So good. Um, we were at the beach last week, actually, East Coast Park with some friends and a load of them said it was the first time they'd actually been in the waters at East Coast Park ever in their lives. They grew up being taught that the waters of East Coast Park were going to make you grow an extra toe and they were surprised at how clean it was. So I'm pretty happy about that. Anyway, here we are. Wow. This place is incredible. I've just pulled up to the toilets and they have to be the most beautiful toilets I've ever seen. I know it sounds silly, but the view that is here, the way they've taken advantage of you, and there's even a boardwalk that peels off to the left here, um, is just gorgeous. I'll be bold enough to say it's even worth coming out here just to use the toilet. Um, it really is spectacular. I'm gonna spend a little while chilling out here before I head on to find the family. experience using the washroom. <laughs> I managed to top up with water as well which is great. Took in the view, cooled down for a bit and now I'm heading on. I don't think I'm that far uh, from where the family is. I've just seen that Netflix has been uh, accessed through my account so they've obviously got into the room. So I guess now's a good time to tell you where they are. And they are at the Bus Collective. Um, the Bus Collective is a set of old Singapore buses that have been converted to hotel rooms. And they are generous enough to host us for the evening. And so the kids and Millie are in there. Hopefully Aspen's having a good rest. Um, I know Milo's feeling a little bit disappointed because he loves riding too and he's not allowed. Oh wow, look at that little lookout point over there. Man, I need to explore this area on foot as well and with the family. They would love this. Um, so yeah, so they're, they're pretty settling in now, which is nice. And I guess I'm about 
<coughs> I'm guessing, six, seven kilometers away. So let's see how we go. I'm in at Changi Beach Park and I don't know, the atmosphere here is really, really chill. So I found myself slowing right down and um, just taking it all in. Maybe there's a little bit of anticipation. I know that this is uh, a bit further down is the site of the Changi Beach Massacre. Um, and yeah, there just seems to be a bit more of a somber atmosphere here compared to everywhere else I've ridden so far today. Here it is, the site of the Changi Beach Massacre, Sukching or um, ethnic cleansing. The Japanese in 1942, the 18th of February, uh, decided they did a load of screenings and they decided anybody who they felt were anti-Japanese um, were to be put to death and a load of people were executed, machine gunned right here in the water. Um, I'm just taking a moment to remember those and taking a moment to just think about my grandpa who uh, was a survivor of that situation. Um, if you want to know more about his story you can find it um, on our YouTube channel. Um, we'll put the link in the description below. Um, I managed to interview him before he passed away and um, shared his story which is pretty beautiful to be honest. And so if you are able to watch that and want to watch that please do. Um, I'm going to take a couple of minutes here before heading on. Changi Point. Uh, it's pretty cool to be here. It's very quiet out here today. Um, I know I just talked about Grandpa probably uh, 300 meters that way, um, but uh, we sent him off um, out at sea um, just after he died. So his ashes are out there somewhere and it's great to be able to see um, the area where we said goodbye to him. Uh, just from here, from Changi Point and the um, just there. I'm just going to spend a few minutes here and um, then head over to the bus collector which is really really close. I'd imagine Millie and the kids are settling in and having a great time already. That's the Hawker Centre. Some of the best nasi lemak on Ireland from there. Let's see whether I can find the bus collective. That's just the bus station. I know wheel my bike round to our room where the family are already settled in so I'm not sure which way around I go. I think maybe out the other side. Let's try that way. <laughs> This is really cool. I like cozying through 203, this is ours. I'm just kind of working my way through these different um, buses. I can see Aspen's bike. Hello. Room service. How's it going? Welcome so to my cool. crib. Is it nice? Yeah. Amazing. Looking forward to it. Let me take my shoes off. That's the ride. Oh, really lovely. Beautiful road the whole way through. This is cool. <laughs> Let me check it out. Wow. Hello. We are just going to head out. Um, we spotted a little a little bike shop in the village next door here in Changi Village. Uh, we need to sort out Aspen's handlebars. Oops. Your handlebars have uh, we've lost a bit of the grip tape here. Yeah, so um, Aspen and I are just going to cycle ahead. We're going to meet Millie and Milo there as well. 
and uh, we're gonna find some dinner in Changi Village before we come back and settle in for a nice early night. The Changi Village Hawker is closed for cleaning at the moment, so we're gonna take ourselves over to the coffee shop over the road and see what they have there instead. So I don't know if we're just really early because um, loads of places are still closed at the moment but we've stopped off at this place called the uh, Supper Club and we've ordered um, chicken rice, something we all love and we're all ready to eat something so I thought we'll get that, it'll give us some good energy, uh, ready for the rest of tomorrow Um yeah, got some drinks, it's pretty chilled around here, we usually come at the weekend when everything is like really busy so it's quite different to see it like this but it's nice as well, it's kind of, I guess this is the, just the local everyday kind of thing around here. So it was good to be able to eat well. Um, Aspen is very excited to head back um, because she wants her handlebars. Um, so we're gonna go and have a little look at those, get them sorted, and then head back to the bus collective where we're gonna chill out and, um, and wrap up our evening. It is still quite early, it's about 6 p.m. and um, we do feel like we need to have a nice early night. Um, like I said, Aspen didn't sleep very well at all last night and of course she's not been well today. She's really keen to get on a bike tomorrow, so um, obviously we're going to monitor it and make sure she's actually okay to be able to ride tomorrow. Um, but if she's going to, we're going to give her the best possible chance to have a good night's sleep. Um, so yeah, so we're going to get that all sorted real soon. Oh, so the kids are putting themselves to bed or getting ready for bed, should I say, and then we'll put them to bed in a little while. And I thought I'd just take a little walk around this place and just explore what it's like at night time. It's got such a lovely atmosphere. Um, it's got little um, floor lamps uh, that light up the pathway. Um, and um, yeah, and it's nice to kind of walk around the outside of these buses. It does kind of weirdly feel like you're in a, oh, I know what it feels like. It feels like a caravan park um, rather than a bus depot, <laughs> even though you are essentially in a bus depot. Um, I think because all the buses have had this really, really nice wrapping put on them, um, it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, and of course, you don't kind of hear the buses being turned on or anything like that, or the engines. Um, so yeah, it's just a really, really lovely place to stay. And yeah, definitely has caravan park vibes. There's a restaurant over here as well where you can um, order food in the evenings. It's where we're gonna have um, our food in the morning. Um, and also um, they have live music here um, as well, which is awesome. I'd actually love to come down and play um, a set or two here. That would be really, really fun. So it's got a really, really lovely vibe to it. Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna head back in in a little while, make sure the kids are all set for bed. And um, yeah, it's been great to be able to tour you guys around the bus collective. Okay, cool. So it's been um, a really nice evening of just chilling out. Uh, we have uh, put the kids to bed. Aspen fell asleep probably about half an hour ago. Uh, Milo's been singing along to, um, quietly to some songs, which is really, really beautiful. Um, as you can see, we're watching one of our old episodes behind us and just enjoying and being grateful for the fact that we get to do these amazing things and um, because of you guys, because of um, you watching our channel and we're really, really grateful. Um, it's late. We're going to go to sleep and uh, we look forward to um, catching you guys in the morning. Good night. Okay, we've packed up. That's been feeling good. We're gonna head off now for day two. We're gonna try and do more than 15K today, aren't we? Bye. 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 It's like a new stretch of park connector, which is going to be lovely. Uh, we just passed a sign that said that we're about four kilometers away from Paso Reefs Park, which is the route that we're taking. So it's great to be able to have those little pointers along the way. 
Um, and we're just gonna keep enjoying our day. Here you go. What a building. Got the pink socks and the handlebars and the shades and the sleeves. <laughs> I'm getting used to turning with the horn. Yeah, how's it feel? Oh, it's good. Good. Oh, wow, look, you're just smashing them. They're plant planting more trees. Oh. Wanna come? Hi. Come. How do you know what language they speak? Oh, that's smart. It's not always about being smart. You're right. Who says that? You. <laughs> to her, make sure she's still doing okay, make sure she's well fed and well hydrated, but so far so good. That last sort of uh, 10 minutes wasn't quite as um, straightforward as I'd have liked, but we've made it now to Pasiris Park, we're right next to the resort and Wild Wild Wet, um, which is great, and now we're in Pasiris Park, we know we're heading in the right direction, so it's all good. Amazing little view uh, at Paso Reese Park. Feel like I could stay forever. Ah, oh, I've spotted your lizard aspen. It's gone all the way over there now. Yeah. Why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> oh, there's some grey clouds over there. That's nice. Uh -oh. No, it can cool down. Oh, yeah. Turn right, darling. Yeah, Where are we going? Pongal Promenade. Left. Oh, this is nice. We just saw a sign uh, that said a wild tapir has been spotted in the woods around here, in the rainforest around us. And um, it's quite special really, we've seen them at the night safari but never ever realised that they were native to Singapore, so somewhere How beautiful is this? I mean, what country has roads like this or pathways like this all of the way around the perimeter of the whole country? It's just like absolutely beautiful. I feel very lucky to be doing this. Very, very happy that my daughter is having the best day back to her usual happy self on the bike. So um, we're just going to keep enjoying ourselves. I wonder how Millie and Miley are going. They've got a long, long bus journey. I think they've got three different buses they want to take. Uh, each one maybe taking up to an hour. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Wow, some like red leaves in that tree. See the red leaves, Aspen? Red leaves. Okay, we have milked every last minute in here. Ooh, I've got Aspen's bag, so it's a bit easier for her. My other bag on my back. Milo has got Teddy strapped to the top. Thank you. Bus collective for the Teddies. We are saying goodbye to this place. <laughs> Boo. Um, yeah, we've got a bus to catch, so we're going to check out and go and find the spot for the bus. As soon as we got out, the bus was here. We've got 25 stops, so we can just chill. <laughs> so we've realised we're actually really close to Grandma's place, so we've hopped off the bus um, at the stop we were meant to. We're going to grab another bus, which takes us kind of around a funny way um, close to Grandma's house. We're going to pick up lunch from the hawker centre that we know and love down there, pop upstairs, eat with her, and then um, hop on another bus. Like, the buses are so easy around here. They run on time. Like, it's got AC in it. We've uh, driven past so many different places. I didn't realize how big Paso Reese actually is. We usually just go to the beach, but I think it'd be nice to come back and actually explore, like, the, the town, the village, whatever you call it, um, of Paso Reese itself. So we've got one more minute for our bus, and then it's nearly lunchtime. to go I've got a crossover to go over the other side uh, but yeah just crossing the road I'd be interested to see how much all of this costs us on the bus I was really I think it's over, if it's over like 24 kilometers it's uh, like capped at three dollars I think so it'll be interesting to see how much it's actually cost us to be able to do this journey um, 
just on the buses. There was like an option for to on the red line, but that was only for two stops. And Milo said, let's just stay on the bus because by the time we get off, get on the train, we might as well actually just stay on the buses. So crossing over the bridge, getting on bus number two. It's just started to rain like really heavily. Just suddenly come down, all the motorbikes have stopped at the side of the road to put all the waterproof things on. Look what we saw already. Uh, I know that Aspen and Junty are ahead of us, so I really hope they're not being caught out in the rain. And we're gonna be fine. <laughs> I think they're gonna be us. <laughs> We've crossed over onto the twin islands of Pungal Timor and Pungal Barat. Uh, the last time we were on these islands is actually when we did Round Island, Wanderlust Round Island Part 1, which is over two years ago. So it'll be interesting to see how it has changed, if at all, um, and just to see you know, what looks different here or what I remember from last time anyway. So this one says Salita Link, which is kind of where we want to head. Just need to check the map. So I feel like we went straight last time, but I feel like we need to go left now. Let me get in some shade. Yeah, I need to go straight there. Just a beautiful stretch. I'd love to get a boat out on that. Don't know if it's possible, but um, must be, surely. We are just coming off Pongal Barat Island, heading back onto the Singapore main island over this bridge. We've made some really, really good headway. We've gone uh, well over 20 kilometers today, averaging about 11 kilometers an hour, including all of the crazy um, traffic lights we've had. So we're making really, really good headway today, especially as we've kind of deliberately taken it easy to make sure Aspen's doing good today. So yeah, really, really pleased, really pleased. Here comes a very bumpy Yishun Dam. I can stay on this. How was the Yishun Dam? A bit boring, right? Bumpy roads. Do you want to eat? We've just arrived. We just stopped off for lunch. Uh, I've got some bok chor mee and Aspen's got some kaya toast, which is good, some carbs and some sugars. So it's gonna do her good and the protein and the egg, which is on its way too. We're gonna eat up and then make our way. Um, so we're looking forward to uh, reaching our second destination of this trip. You see me eyeball? No. The butter's in the way. That's better. You see now? That was a good stop off. We've actually sorted out our route and get us back onto the PCN because that's the most comfortable of routes for Aspen. And we're um, doing great for time. So um, yeah, so we're pretty, pretty pleased. You don't see many hills in Singapore. Um, I understand that once upon a time, Singapore was hills and swamps and they cut down the hills essentially to load it into the swamps and so a lot of Singapore is flat as a result but the odd hills you see just adds a really really lovely dynamic to the landscape that we don't often get to see. So yep we're turning now onto Yishun Avenue at 7 and then very soon we're going to be hitting a right onto the park connectors on Avenue 3 and then we're on our park connectors for a good long while as we head towards the west. Three otters. Baby one. Baby one. We just found 
some otters and they're wobbling on the floor and getting there. It looks like they're drying off, but, but they're getting dirty. <laughs> That was a brief but lovely break, um, being able to watch the otters for a little while and then get our bearings and figure out exactly which route we're going to take. Um, we are back on a park connector, a skinny one right now. Aspen's in the way, she's riding really strong, uh, really strong. Hello. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> Having fun? Good. We've been using the park connectors for like three years now, I guess. Uh, not on this trip, obviously. <laughs> uh, but yeah, in total, it's amazing how even our kids, Aspen sees the brown signs of the park connectors, she knows where she's going. She doesn't need to ask, she's just confident that they're going to take us somewhere where we need to go. So <laughs> it's good. Oh, we're passing the Marceling Mall. Uh, we stopped here two years ago when we did the Round Island route uh, number one. We're not going to stop there today because we um, haven't got long to go now. We had a very different sort of route that day. Aspen, the Easy Link app just told me that Mummy and Milo just got off a bus at Woodlands, which is two stops away by but by train, so maybe six stops away by bus. We need to get there before them. Should we race? Yeah. Okay, we're going to race. We're going to where we've seen labelled the Rainbow Bridge. Oh, I can see it now. Uh, it's very colourful. This is going to be fun. Very steep slope. Whoa. You want to try? I didn't realise that this was no entrance. I thought we were allowed to go across. Okay, come. Got to find a different route. You're not actually allowed in here unless you're residents or staff, and we're neither of those things. So we've got to turn around and find another route. But at least we got to see the Rainbow Bridge, which we've never experienced before, have we? Do you like it? Yeah. It's cool, eh? Okay, let's go back. We're at Wooden We got to the bus station at Woodlands, grabbed something to eat, and as soon as we got there, the bus was there. We grabbed straight on the bus, only a couple of meters down the road, really. And we're now waiting for our last bus. I got it wrong, it was four buses. And we're, so we're just waiting here, hopped off one, hop onto the next, and then we will be there. <sighs> That's the first sign for Sungai Bulo, which is really close to where we're going to be staying this evening. So it's great to see how close we are. Uh, we've realised that, because I can see on the EasyLink app that Milo has just gotten off a bus at Marceling, which means they're probably about four bus stops behind us and waiting for their last connecting bus. So it's pretty close. We're going to keep trying as if we're in a race, but I'm pretty sure they're ahead of us. It's okay. Do you need anything? Candy, protein bar, water, what would you like? Candy. Candy? Some candy coming up. Duh. Oh, that's a lot that's just come out. You want me to cope with all that? <laughs> yeah? Oh. Think so? Yeah. Okay, go on then. Um, one by two. one. There are about three bus stops away, maybe two now that we've stopped for these snacks, but at least we'll get through happy. It's not about who wins, is it? It's about who gets in that pool and has a great time, and all of us hopefully will do that. Woo! Having fun today? We've done about 45 kilometers already. Feels good? About 5k left. Whoa. Bit of road riding here. Just stay tucked in, stay at a good speed. Okay, so 
sometimes some big lorries will come past us, you just gotta be ready for them. Okay, you've done this before? Stay confident. Okay, look how beautiful it is either side. But stay concentrating, but do take it in. On the left is fresh water, it's a reservoir. On the right is the sea and Malaysia. Okay, good job. You keep going. What colour was it? Blue! Bright blue, right? Yeah! Wow. Nice and strong. The new dairy farm. Looks good. That Sungai Bulo is one of the gems of Singapore. You need to check it out if you haven't already. We have got a video, I'm sure we'll link it below for you, um, of everything that we saw there one day, from lizards to snakes to crocs to... Uh, fish to all sorts of stuff so yeah it's all good aspen keep going we're doing so well we might just beat millie and milo we don't know we don't know where they are on the bus so milo and i were waiting for a bus that turns out it only runs on weekends and public holidays which is not today so we waited about five minutes trying to get a grab there's a couple of hail downs but they didn't want to take us out that far so we've got a grab coming in seven minutes um, hopefully they don't change their mind. I think at this rate, Aspen and John T are gonna beat us there. Not by much, um, they've done a good effort. It's been a lot of buses today, uh, which is fine getting there, but this last little bit, we're gonna have to take a car to get there. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo! Garden Asia, we're here, here we go. Hello. Good afternoon. Oh, still running? Goodness me. Look at this place. Sorry? Oh, wow. We're the only ones here, sweetheart. It will be peaceful. Oh, this is our one. Wow. Not bad. Thank you so much, AJ. Okay, we're going in. What do you think? You're going straight up. Oh, who's choosing beds tonight? Milo's choosing. What do you think? Excited? Yeah. Okay. So we made it uh, significantly before Millie and Milo somehow. I'm not really sure. But look at this place, absolutely gorgeous, completely different to what we expect it to be. What an atmosphere as well. Uh, you can hear my voice in this place, it's just really cool. Um, Millie and I have our bedroom down here, which I just thought I'd take you to. So, sliding door um, into our room here, which is just beautiful. Look at this. Gorgeous room. Uh, we've got an ensuite bathroom I'll show you in just a moment. And also this area with all sorts of uh, bits and bobs, as you would expect in a um, hotel or somewhere to stay, which is lovely. Um, I'm just going to just show you a little bit more. Okay, we've arrived. This is pretty cool. We bumped into a guy and he told us to keep walking this way. We can see some of the black and white buildings already. Oh, I'm so glad that we've arrived. <laughs> I know we haven't been cycling, but I still feel like really tired. <laughs> Hello, what's going on here? What does it taste like? The water? Yeah. It? I don't know. Oh, I can't quite believe we're here. This place is absolutely beautiful and um, very, very contrasting to the bus collective yesterday, but a really, really beautiful, beautiful place. And the kids are already in the pool. I can't wait to get in myself, to be honest. received our dinner and um, it's been delivered to the room because the bistro actually shuts um, at like four o'clock or something like that and then they um, open for they don't do room service but they deliver your dinner um, to your um, to your home or whatever we call this lodge home yeah and um, which is lovely so we've ordered a few different things the kids have got uh, chicken and mash and we're gonna get stuck into our food Aspen tell me about yours it's good <laughs> 
The food is really good. The vegetables are so fresh. You can really taste it. Like the carrots taste like carrots. It sounds really silly, but sometimes when I buy them at fair price, they don't really taste them a lot, but these veggies taste really good and they pride themselves on using like fresh products, which we can really, really tell. So this dinner was a hit, really delicious. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah. <laughs> So we decided while the sun's still shining just about, although I can see a really, really nice orange sunset over there, we're going to explore everything that is over here at Garden Asia. We don't really know much about it. Um, just that they have gardens here. Some of the food is edible, which we had on our plate. Um, and then that's about all we know. So we're going to have a little explore. This one is one of their great um, venue for weddings. And it is, beautiful out here yeah this reminds me of like churches in the uk which is quite nice we're just having a bit of a uh, tour with aj who's been welcoming us since we've been here and this this place is amazing so we've heard that the main business here is landscaping and moss scape which is where you get walls covered in moss uh, which is absolutely beautiful um, we've had a little bit of a tour aj who is the manager of the farm stay where we're staying tonight is just showing us around he is lovely really really Fantastic, and um, looking after us so well. Okie dokie, what a day. Mm. Um, it's amazing for me, I, I feel like we've actually managed to do a little bit of the ride today, which is great. Oh, obviously we're still kind of disappointed that um, Milo's knee's not been great. Nidia was just saying that he's not feeling so good still. Yeah, I think he's a bit gutted that he's missing out on it. Mm. He knows he needs to rest his knee. Um, and you guys have got a holiday planned. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned uh, I at the beginning of the video, um, but yeah, Milo and I are doing Mount Kinabalu for his end of elementary school treat. Uh, mm. I promised it to him before I realised how much it was going to cost, so uh, feel free to hit me up with some cash. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll just eat economic beehoo for the next month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This isn't too bad, to be honest. <laughs> But yeah, so we, yeah, so he yeah, knows so he wants to get his knee he knows, but yeah, better a bit for of them. Um, but yeah, but it's been really nice. We had you know some good chats on bus rides, um, look at different things, and like we got to pop in to see Grandma today, which was nice. But it's been so nice to be able to get here mm. and um, just to be able to experience everything and to be able to arrive. Like the fact that Aspen and I arrived a bit earlier meant that Milo and Millie weren't waiting. I think that added a nice little new you playing face. No, I was just I was agreeing. I think it was nice for Aspen to be like, ah, we beat you. Yeah, but I think it was a nice for you guys. It's not like, oh, we just got here and now we're waiting for them to finish yeah. their bike ride or whatever. I think that, that was nice too. Yeah, and it like just getting in the pool mm. made the whole well, four hours for us in the end. But, you know, we stopped along the way and the buses came really quickly actually, which was mm. nice. So, yeah. And this place is great. We're really happy about this place. It's beautiful. Lily was saying she just loves it here. Yeah. You're very at home, don't you? Um, so, yeah, at home in a log cabin and a wooden cabin, essentially. It feels like we're in a sauna, look, look up. <laughs> Just in a sauna the whole time. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, we're gonna hit the sack soon. We've got Netflix on the telly, so maybe we'll watch a little bit of Somebody Feed Phil um, before going to bed, and we will catch you guys in the morning. Night. Good night. Ah, we're off for breakfast, which is good. There's a little area where we're gonna walk to now where we have breakfast served for us, and yeah, it's about five to 10 now. We've had a nice chilled out morning. It's time to go and eat. So we're about to leave um, Garden Asia now, which is an absolutely beautiful place. Um, we had a, the most. We had a great breakfast, and this is a lovely, lovely conversation with AJ, who's the guy who manages all of the farm stay homes. So if you ever come out here, make sure you say hi to AJ. Make sure you say that we recommended you to come, which we definitely do. So we're just passing Garden Asia's uh, tennis court as well. They've got a tennis court there. Um, there's so many things that happened there that um, pre-COVID that we didn't know about. Um, they have car shows, wedding banquets, all sorts of stuff. So it was nice to be able to experience that place. Um, but we're heading on now. There's going to be a lot of road riding in the first half of today. Yep, yeah, big yellow lizard running away. Um, a lot of road riding to start with in this area. And then we've got the busy Lim Chu Kung Road, which Aspen's done before as a six-year-old, not as an eight-year-old. Um, but I'm sure she'll be just fine today. So 
this area that we're in right now is called the Cranji Countryside and uh, we actually spent a day, there's a hop on hop off shuttle bus that you can do around here and it takes you to a few uh, featured places in the area and the dairy farm, uh, the marshes and a few other areas and um, including a place called Bollywood Veggies which is an amazing place to go um, so I'd definitely recommend that again uh, video is probably linked below um, do check it out and uh, do come down and experience this place for yourself it's just a beautiful beautiful uh, unspoken about part of our island okay we've made it onto the Lim Chu Kang road it's a great big wide road I think about six lanes across in total um, they actually uh, take down the um, the street lights and the bus stops um, every couple of years I think uh, to be able to use it as a army aeroplane runway which is amazing um, and they use it to, to train and it's a, it's a spare runway essentially if we ever needed it um, for our army um, last time we cycled this Aspen was only six years old she'd only just learned how to ride a bike six weeks earlier um, and she loved being on the road I think it was a real sense of freedom for her today the sun's beating down on us it's a hot day and there's no shade down here so we've got um, some stronger legs than we did two years ago and we're just going to power through this as quickly as possible and if we need to break we'll break uh, there's some bus shelters along the way too oh, this is so much nicer than when we last experienced this road last time there was a horrible headwind and it was really busy full of traffic today it's chill and um, the roads are quiet at points it even feels peaceful uh, and it's lovely so yep all good we've decided we're going to find a bus stop and have a little shade break what happened oh, oh. Chukang Road is all done and we're now on Jalan Baha and uh, Aspen's enjoying being able to use her bell again because there's people uh, we're gonna just keep heading on we've made some really really good uh, good headway today averaging um, nearly 13 kilometers an hour which is great time for Milo and I to check out. We just hung about inside the room for a little bit longer, played another round of Five Alive. I won. He's also not very happy about that because he always wins. He reckons that I, because uh, I shuffled, I won. So next time he's going to shuffle and see if he wins. But uh, we have to leave this place. He said, oh, I'm so sad to leave this place. And it is beautiful. I mean, tropical paradise in the middle of nowhere and we've got the whole thing to ourselves. So um, like we discovered yesterday, there is no bus running today it's weekends only so we're gonna get a taxi I think to Kranji MRT and from there we're gonna make our way over to the next destination over in Sentosa so goodbye Garden Asia so we were waiting for a grab for quite a little while and then um, AJ realized one of his colleagues might be going out so she dropped us off here at Kranji MRT Milo still wants to take the bus he wants to do the whole thing on buses so we're gonna look up the bus route and then hop on a bus that was amazing timing. The bus turned up like literally a minute after we just uh, cut the camera last time. So we've got half an hour on this bus. We realized it takes four minutes longer on the bus, which isn't really anything. So we've got a half an hour bus ride now and we sat right at the front so we can see everything that's around this area. Which is pretty cool, eh? bus just passing Chinatown it's really nice sitting at the top because we just get a different view of everything we are so close now I say 20 minutes 
time and actually had a nap on the bus, which was quite what I needed. And um, yeah, I'm not sure where John Tina's from. Uh, I know that they're doing really well though, so super proud of well, both of them. Well done, John Tutu. Uh, yeah, so we're going to enjoy the rest of this until we get to Vivo. Then we're going to grab some lunch, head over to the beach, and we're so close to being there now. The bus captain has been enjoying. This is partly why Mina wanted to take every single bus, so that the bus captain <laughs> could take the bus with us. <laughs> We have just decided to turn around a little bit. We saw a sign for the Jurong Park connectors. And then we had a little check on the map and it takes us all the way to Jurong Lake Gardens. So we're gonna take Jurong Lake Gardens, Pandan Reservoir, head towards West Coast Park, um, and then have lunch there. But Aspen's feeling peckish, so if we see something on the way, we might stop off. Yeah? yeah. Okay, let's go. So we're turning right next to the river. We're in Jurong Lake Gardens and we're taking it southward now uh, towards the Ulu Pandan Park Connector. We're looking forward to that too. Oh, I'm so glad that we found these park connectors, the road's so smooth. We know there's going to be water nearby as well. Aspen's out, although I've still got about a litre. So we're going to top her up real soon. In Jurong Lake Gardens, uh, we didn't manage to connect up to the Panam Reservoir. I think if we went anti clockwise around the Lake Gardens, I think possibly if we went clockwise around it, we did ask someone but it wasn't very clear. Um, but if we went clockwise, we think we might be able to reach the Pandan Garden, the Pandan Lake Garden, sorry, the Pandan Reservoir. Um, but we're on the right track anyway, so it's not a big deal. We're heading in the right direction. Just so you know, we're not sponsored by McDonald's, nor do we subscribe to a regular McDonald's diet. I'm just saying that because I know that this is the second time in one episode we're here. Um, but we're just going to have a little something to eat and then head on our way for our final stop. We just spotted it is tipping it down outside now. Like the rain is coming down. It hasn't rained for like a week or so. So for it to be coming down, maybe it hasn't rained for two weeks. So it's heavy. Um, we're gonna carry on in the rain. Hopefully it dries off though, because there's a nice pool um, and our final, uh, at our stop tonight. Um, I say final stop, it kind of is. So it's back home tomorrow, but there's a pool there. So hopefully we'll be able to experience it all in a little while. Uh, where are you going with all of that? What is that? An uncle helped you? Yeah, I squirted one. I've never seen so much before then, in my life. He was like, let me help you, and he squirted again. How did that not fall off? We're pretty fortunate because the rain has stopped. Um, oh, I guess it's still there, but very, very light. And so it'll just be a nice, cool ride, hopefully now from here through to Sentosa. Hey, hey, hey. Screen wipers, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're on a new 
park connector it feels very very smooth and the paint is still uh, super crisp which is nice oh he says we can go this way I think he's gonna help us he helping yeah I think so thank you oh. okay great thank you thank you so much that was so kind one of the road workers has showed us where to go because they kind of blocked the end for us so here we go our friend Rio works at this condo as a security guard Woohoo! this is our last main island landmark before we hang over to Sentosa raining we gobble down at mcdonald's in like two minutes done get out go um it's raining i don't know if jimmy and aspen have made it over there yet they haven't got any contact i kind of wish i'd turned on find my iphone so that i could see where jimmy is along the way um we have no idea but yeah it is raining not massively we've got one umbrella between us but i'm pretty sure it's all covered all the way over so we're gonna cross over see what happens when we get to the other side what do you call this bridge aspen why Okay. You on foot? Do you want to go say hi? Okay, turn around. She was like, no, she doesn't want to stop. She wanted to run and go ahead. They're there. Let's go. Let's go back. Let's go back. What's going on? Hello, hello. I can't believe you saw us right there. We were just saying. We were just saying how. Oh, hello. Hey, you haven't done We were just saying how we wanted to beat you guys, and we thought that you'd be crossing round about now as well. But we thought you were going by monorail. Uh, we were going to walk and then um, see if we can pick up a hello bike. Oh, hey buddy. Aww. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. So did, can you get hello bikes over there? You can, yeah. There should be some at the other side, potentially. Well, so. should, we, should we cycle together to the finish? We'll see. Okay, hopefully. Yeah. Alright, let's go together. Okay. You found them, sweetheart? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. Superb. Keep going. Careful. Come on, muscles. Let's go. How are we doing? Yeah. Look, we've just done 40 kilometers and this one's exhausted already. I can't even go up a hill. I've got no gears. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! -hoo. Wow. Hornbill. This. What a beautiful beach. As Sentosa always is, it's beautiful, calm down here, especially after a rain shower. There's hardly anyone down here and it's during the week. But it's so nice to be able to finish uh, day three on bikes all together, which is so good. And um, heading to our final stop for today, which is Soloso Beach Resort, an eco resort here on Sentosa Island. We don't know much about it other than it's an eco resort. I'm sure we'll find out much more about it when we get there and we can show you as well. <laughs> How's Milo doing back there? You wish your legs were pedaling? Yeah, I thought you might. Just enjoy this, look. We're riding together, kind of. Yeah? How's the leggy? Good. Aspen, this is it on the right hand side, sweetheart. We've just been told there's another entry point just a little bit further up, so we're gonna head up and just see what we can find see where it is she said it's like a shortcut up the hill because the resorts actually on a higher level than where we are now uh, the Siloso Beach Resort which is here is still the beach resort but it's actually part of um, uh, it's a bar so not what we're looking for this is the one six minutes up here Millie has been able to drop her bike off now successfully yes. and we are just walking up the Imbia trail which we've done before it's just a beautiful trail with my favorite little uh, Sentosa monorail 
Um, the original Sentosa monorail that went out of commission in 2009, it, uh, no, 2005, <laughs> is above us right now. And we're just walking a few minutes up here to get to um, the hotel check-in. We're just being cautious of Milo's knee, but he's being more cautious than we are, which is good. He's looking after that very well. We are, we've arrived, we're going to go and look for a room, but we're just taking, taking a moment to look out over uh, the resort. It's pretty beautiful. There's two. I know you love when I do a room tour, and this one has uh, got so many nooks and crannies that I'm going to show you the whole thing. I know you'd be surprised from what you can see. Over here we have the bedroom slash living space, space. Come with me. You'll see child's bed number one, which is not dissimilar to child's bed number two. We also have the master suite over here. It comes fully equipped with a couch and a beautiful view of Siloso Beach and school children <laughs> walking down here. They timed that for us just as we got here so that you could see how uh, educational this beach is as well as relaxational. As you'll notice, as we're in a family room, we have clouds on the mirrors, on the mirrors and the lights, and we've even got these star lights, which is beautiful too. And um, we put in a special order to have pandas on the wall because Aspen loves pandas. Um, so we're really, really pleased that they managed to make that happen for us too. Uh, and some multicolored shelving for any multicolored books that you might want to bring with you as well. If you follow me, to this little area here. We have a mini fridge, complimentary with a eight-year-old kid's pair of wet socks <laughs> and a wife's pair of wet socks, which is left on the side next to the cups, also complimentary. Come over here, we have a toilet where there's a towel in case it's all, yeah. And then over here, you've got bath and shower, which is very exciting, obviously, one child is throwing the things on the floor here just to show you what real life is like. Real life room door. Over here you've got your sink. Hi. And you've got Millie in the mirror and you've got all these different look. There's four of us and one night so you can use as much soap as you could possibly want to use. It's all good. It's the room tour, Siloso Beach Resort. Wow, so this beach resort, we mentioned earlier that it's an eco-resort. The water that is here in this beautiful pool and the waterfall behind me is being fed by a nearby spring. I didn't even realize that there was a spring nearby, let alone that there was a pool that was fed by it, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and apparently it's super refreshing. I haven't been in yet. I just gave my parents a quick call just to say hi. Um, but we're gonna get in and have an amazing time. I mean, look at this. We're just surrounded by jungle. I know we're also surrounded by the rest of the hotel, but it just looks beautiful. The way that everything uh, has been planted um, just means that you, you really do feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. It feels like um, a bit of a hidden paradise, to be honest. I uh, feel very, very lucky to be able to stay here today. Going on here? <laughs> We decided just to come downstairs so we don't have to walk about too much after a heavy day of cycling and we wanted to set Aspen or well, Anjan to for a great day tomorrow so we're down here it's nice and breezy there's fans the sea is right over there it is dark now but uh yeah we're looking forward to just sitting chilling having dinner all together with the family playing a little card game yeah it's been a really nice evening Do the taste test, tell everyone what it's like. Yeah. Oh, that's a huge mouth bite. How is it? Very good. Picky Jesus for our food. Aspen is supposed to get this all around her face. It's just the rules of bolognese. 
took a bit of a risk because um, I thought maybe I'd have a burger, maybe I thought I'd have something, I don't know, something local. And I last minute switched over to a seafood pasta. And it's amazing, it's got these big chunks of white fish in it, which are just delicious. Fresh prawns, fresh mussels. I'm a very happy person right now, so I'm quite glad that I didn't cave into my longings for burgers and went for, went for a risk, but it's good. We have just finished our dinner. How was it? Good. Good. Feeling a bit better now that you had yeah. something to eat? I'm going to go ahead. And we are going to um, just go and dip our feet in the water, I think, because the beach is literally just here. We're right there, and the beach is literally just here. So we're really excited to be able to just dip our toes in the sea before going to bed. That was a really nice little wander along the beach. Yeah, nice toes in the sea, seeing all the twinkly lights, which is nice. Um, we are ready for bed. Yeah, well, actually, I was going to say one of the things that we, uh, Milo said on the beach was just like, it's so nice, it's so quiet. Mm. You just noticed uh, just the peace of it, which is great. So, yes, time for bed. We're going to get the kids up uh, to bed and then uh, settle them in, and then we're all going to sleep. I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah, well deserved. Sleep. Yep. Nice. Right. Good night. Okay, so this is the last bit. We're leaving our last destination. Next stop, where? Home. Home, but we're going to stop a couple of places along the way, aren't we? Okay, let's go. Got a lot of Singapore to show you guys still, so stick with us the last few minutes of this episode. checked out you just usual uh, ticket drop off super easy this place is so unassuming like if you're down this end of the beach do pop in and get something to eat their food is really 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 good here we enjoyed everything we had local stuff western stuff the breakfast was great and you're right opposite the beach as well so if you just want to quickly pop in get something to eat and head back to the beach do check this place out we have loved our stay we are going again on a very bumpy ride up we go I can't say enough just how loud those cicadas were. It sounds like there's an alarm going off. It's absolutely piercing. But it's also just absolutely incredible to hear how alive the forest is. I don't even know if you can tell through the camera just how loud it all is, but it is just nuts. When we get to this roundabout here, we've done round the island of Sentosa. <laughs> We're going left on the roundabout. Wait, 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 wait. Break, break. And he's pushing me because, yeah, why not? Keep going, my way. Keep going. Keep going. We need to cross over. Keep going down that way. Whew, I am sweating. That was half hour bike ride. But we did it, we're over here. Milo thinks that we might be able to get a bus from downstairs. Either way, there'll just be a blast of AC to help dry some of this sweat dripping off my face. And then we're gonna, yeah, Karen, I think we're on 18 buses we've taken so far, so. 19. 19, just been corrected, thanks Milo. Yeah, another hot day, but that was really fun, cruising along the beach side on a bike. Look how blue that is. I wonder what makes it so blue. The only other place I've seen water that blue in the sea is in Venice. And it is really, really blue like that. But I don't know whether it's a type of algae or plankton that makes it that color. It looks beautiful. Almost inviting. How are you doing this morning? Last day. Do you wish it could last a bit longer? Still a couple more days. the size of these buildings. Look up. We just bumped into my cousin Jamie, my cousin's wife Jamie. Uh, very nice to ask them to see Auntie Jamie as um, I think she's about to take her lunch break and we're obviously on our way around. We are approaching about past that I think. We had a lot of traffic lights this last trip didn't we? But we're not on the road, so we're safe. Sorry, get to rest. 
You've been tired. Yeah, nearly there. Four days of riding, not bad. We couldn't find the bus that was downstairs by the casinos and then we decided we were going to get the monorail across and as soon as we got there it arrived so we hopped on that, walked across the road and now we're waiting for our 20th bus. Is that Milo? Waiting for the 20th bus. Um, yeah, just cooling down with a little battery fat, battery powered fan. Still riding amazingly well. She's sleepy today though. Um, she's got the promise of candy and cool photos at the Merline. And we're very, very close to the Merline, so I think she'll perk up soon after that. How's the candy? <laughs> We made it to the Malayan, Aspen's very happy. We're gonna take some photos and then we're gonna have some candy and then we're gonna keep going. It's amazing what a bit of Haribo can do for a child. Look at her go. She's firing up this hill. Though it's not really a hill. We're a bit concerned that when we take them for their first bike ride outside of Singapore, it's gonna be, be a tricky experience, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. A bit like this one, which we're crossing now that we are here. Yeah. And we are back on comfortable territory. I guess that all of it is pretty comfortable, but for us as a family, we use these roads, these park connectors very regularly. Uh, it's part of Milo's 5k running route. It's part of our regular bike rides um, when we pop out into the city for dinner. And so Aspen is very comfortable. I'm feeling very confident and we're just gonna power through to the stadium where we're gonna meet Millie and Milo, whatever they're doing at the moment. I think they're on a bus or two or three. Come sweetheart. growing up the kids are getting because that little stretch that we just did I remember that feeling like it took forever and uh, we've just zipped through that in a couple of minutes to be honest so um, yep yeah, they're getting bigger but uh, hopefully they will forever love these opportunities that we try to give them exploring places making the most of the things that we love as a family I hope they never get tired of it <laughs> Is that on video? How are you? Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Aston and I are just approaching stadium. Um, and we're gonna go and have a little sit down in a cafe and chill out while we wait for Millie and Milo a beautiful leisurely uh, journey home on an absolutely gorgeous day hey lean it this way no oh, not too far <laughs> try again okay lean okay first lean this way lean this way oh no Starbucks card from the student <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, Milo, how did you get here? Um, first we took a bike, and then we took a uh, monorail, then we took the bus, and then we took the bike, and now we're here. Nice. All good? What have you got for lunch? Subway. Let me see. Yeah.
finished by the time you get up. <laughs> yeah! Hello. Bye. We made it all together. Milo's here. So um, Aspen and I finished our Starbucks treat and we've popped out here to sit with Millie and Milo while they have their lunch. Howdy. And then uh, I think Millie and Milo are going to get a Hello Bike and we're going to try and do as much as we can together of the last little stretch. Um, there is a little bit of a way home still from here. <laughs> but we'll see how Millie's legs go with the Hello Bike. Yeah. With the lump on the back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a lump. You're not a lump. I'm 30 kg. You're a very good looking lump. Well, we are at the final stretch now, I think, going from stadium all the way back home. There's a lot of park connectors, which means it should be a little bit more straightforward for Millie on the Hello Bike. Yeah. Um, I've offered my bike, but she's quite happy to take it, this one. I'm okay. We've, she's Milo okay. and I have got a thing going. We've okay. figured out the balance now. We've figured out the balance, <laughs> and we're going to try and make it all the way home as a four of us on, on wheels, which is going to be fun. Um, so we're going to make our way and, uh, and bring you with us and uh, we'll be able to show Millie and Milo a couple of uh, the features of our ride at the beginning of the journey. So let's see how we go. And um, hopefully we will make it back real soon. Stick with us and see how we go. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Relax, you're safe, you're safe. Out. You're safe. We'll go past, oh no, you go that way. Go on. Yeah, good. Where are you going? Yeah. These bikes are great. I actually really like them. They're definitely slow and steady, cycling along by the river. <laughs> but I'm glad that we get to finish this as a four, even though it means we're gonna have to get up and push up any slight gradient. But um, we're having fun. Aspen and I are filling up water bottles here. Millie's going to keep going because she needs the head start, otherwise we'll never get home. And we're going to fill up and she can... We'll catch her up in a little while. We're off again. See how far Millie got. We're going well, we're all together and just enjoying having some fun together on the bikes. Not long to go. Ding ding. Slow. Leisurely. <laughs> okay. We're off ski, last couple of hundred meters to be honest. And it was a total of something like 160 kilometers. Uh, so well done, well, well done, done you. Aspen. Milo's feeling a little bit gutted at the moment because he uh, feels like he's missed out. And, and I, I guess he has, and I get that's part of life sometimes. Um, but he's got a very, very big adventure coming up in June. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure we will be making a video of that. Um, but yeah. for now, Thank you for following us along on the Wanderlust Round Island Route 2. Yes. Three, I'm sure, will happen at some point in the not too distant future. Yeah. Um, but for now, we're going to sign out right here and we'll just catch you guys next week. Yeah! yeah.